All right, guys. What's up, everybody? Mateo Richelli here. We're back. Okay, very, very exciting stuff. We talk again to the CEO, CAO. We've talked to alumni students, uh, existing students, their families. Now we have an awesome, awesome man, um, an awesome dude. He is definitely an alumni of APEC schools. Let's get to know him more. Let's get to know how APEC has changed his life. All right. Calling on screen right now, it is Giancarlo Santa Ana. What's up, man? How are you? Hi, hi, Mateo. Doing fine. How about you? Very, very good. Happy to see you. Happy to talk to you about more on, on APEC. No, it's a very interesting afternoon, bro. I've been learning so much about APEC and I'm very, very happy and proud to be representing APEC schools. So let's start. John, how many years have you been with APEC? I've been with APEC for two years. Okay. You just I graduated. Started, uh, I just uh, no. I just graduated last 2019. Okay, so you went in grade 11, tama? Yes, senior high. Okay, so you're in college now. Yes, I'm in college. Geling, uh, what's your dreams, bro? What's your dreams for the future? What do you want to be? So, so right now, I I take a bachelor in science of hospitality management. I really okay. want to handle in in the tourism industries. How is it learning, studying in APEC, and how has it prepared you for real life and life today as a, as a student, as a college student? When I first entered in APEC in senior high, APEC has a, a unique education curriculum, especially their quality of education. It's very different to our traditional type of learning. Like in, in my junior high days, it's very different. Of course, you just, you're gonna just sit and listen. Now in APEC, when I enter senior high, everything is different. You're not just gonna just sit and listen and do the thing of all the seat work, the homework. But no, what is great in APEC, they teach you how to be independent. Especially mm -hmm. if you don't call them teachers, we call them, we call them learning facilitators, LFs. Mm -hmm. So they teach us on how to be independent, how to plan, how to organize. And then that's how where new skills are entering in ourselves on how we could take those advantages to use in our in colleges or in our workforce. Galing. That's very, very interesting. No? Um, what would you say was the biggest advantage you had coming out from APEC no? and uh, entering to your future, to your school right now and for your future employment in the tourism industry? What are the advantages that uh, APEC has equipped you with? Last 2019, I graduated, I graduated at APEC schools as a senior high student. APEC prepares me in college, in the workforce also, also teaches us to speak English with confidence. No matter where you are, in private, public places, even business communication, business presentation, public speaking, planning, and such. What makes APEC schools unique, just like what I've said earlier, is, is the type of their quality education. It is different from that traditional form of teaching. They teach you how to be organized, how to be prepared, to be independent, strategically solving problems by using teamwork, research, and in collaboration. You know how to do way beyond your expectation. Like, you're in the box, but you are now thinking outside of the box. Nice, man. Nice. It's, it, it really seems like APEC really has that on-the-job on experience feeling, no? Uh, hindi lang nakaupo lang kayo sa isang classroom at kapag lecture lecture but it's actually doing what you love doing and doing the things to really learn them first time no? so that's very very nice and I can really tell na John you're, very, you're a confident man and I believe you're gonna go far in the tourism and in the hospitality industry no? so good luck and congratulations in advance one, one, one final question for you how has APEC equipped you to be a solid uh, man for what for for the, for your dreams in the future I have never thought before that I would still be able to enhance my skills just like earlier I've said communication teamwork business presentation public speaking and such with APEC I was able to become the better version of myself before I wasn't that confident and I was doubtful with my decisions before along the along the way I've learned how to how to lead from being a team player to, to a leader how to be always on time and well manage my studies. How to become more confident, expressive, independent, and patient, also and wise. In the end, I was able to further express myself and these new skills of mine. Helped me a lot, not, not just in my college life, 
it also helped for my future job. I'm grateful for APEC, for APEC that I'm not afraid anymore of the new challenges ahead. As we enter different universities, let one of my alumni, my fellow alumni, students are amazed about how confident we are, how we communicate, we present, strategical plan our goals and problems to, to identify and such. And also, so as in the workplace earlier I was mentioning, I'm also a working student. Galing, galing. Very, very impressive. Very impressive, John. You're impressed to me every time you're explaining things. I have a question. You mentioned earlier that you're a working student now, as of now, while, while, while being in university, correct? Yes. Can you explain to me what you're doing and, and how how APEC has uh, helped you to be organized, to be independent, to, to juggle around working and, 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 and your studies? I work at nighttime from 9 to 1 a.m. Oh. Wow. Well, right now, I'm an I'm a administrative assistant on a financial firm, online in US space. So what I did, what I do currently right now is the process, I'm helping the, I'm helping the accountant and also the our financial firm lawyers on to process the all their accounts, especially on their financial accounts, financial records, need to be processed to the accounting department and also to the paralegal department. And I still remember my very first task when I got the job that I'm the one being checked and audit all the bookkeeping account. And that, that was great at first. Good thing I learned something in the past in APEC on how to how to audit correctly, not just make mistakes. So that's what I do. Galing, galing, galing mo dyan, no? So from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., you are working. Yes. And then during the day, you're in university. Yes. Wow. Can, can you say that APEC has, uh, your, your experience in APEC has really molded you to, to be a person that, that you're able to do these things to really organize yourself, organize your life, and have determination to your end goal? Yes, so much. They help so much, especially all the new skills that I learned that I used I use it in college, in other extracurricular activities, even at work. Galing. Galing, galing mo talaga dyan. You're, you're, you know, it's very, very impressive and very nice to hear uh, first-hand experience and how APEC talaga has changed your life. So, Giancarlo, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. We really, really appreciate it. And I wish you all the best. Good luck. God bless you and stay safe all the time. Thanks, bro. All right, guys, there you had it. Uh, we had Giancarlo, he, alumni of APEC. He's in university now. Not only that, he is working. He's working from 9 p.m. to 1 in the morning with a U.S. company. Well, how amazing is that? And that's how APEC has really molded Giancarlo to become uh, a wonderful person and a very, very work, hardworking individual. All right, guys, we wrap it up there. I thank you very much for joining us. And we hope you learn and we hope you're more inspired to check out uh, Apex schools. Thanks very much.